Hey, we're back. The Artie Lang Show. South African comedian Trevor Noah is hey. here. And where, where is the one-man show, man? What are you going to do in this? I'm at the uh, Culture Projects just off uh, Bleecker Street. Bleecker and Lafayette. Great. Nice. That's such a great part of cool town, area, too, to do yeah. anything. It is. And so you said you're renting an apartment here. And, and how long you plan on staying? The whole summer? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I think I might, actually. I've, I've never seen this place in the summer. It's very different to the yeah. winter. Yeah, it's been, fun. Uh, yeah, it's fun. This is, you know? Well, you, should, you know, if you're here the whole summer, come back again, man. Uh, f make make this like your, uh, your 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 New York TV home, if you like. Come oh, back and yeah. thank you. Come back oh, and hang. I'll do that. I think it's great talking to Trevor because it's like uh, he has just a different take on everything. Well, yeah. For example, he asked me before we came back on, "Is this is this moonshine?" <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I, like, I forgive guess, me. I that's know. the only I've never seen that. that that's that, awesome. Yeah, that's the only time I've seen a jar with, with yeah, liquid in it in America. Yeah. It's a jelly jar is kind of like we're trying to be like so uh, I thought and loft then, hip it's, it's type hip. of thing. It's a hip. Oh, it is. Mason I see. Jar. I, Mason I thought, jar. Yeah. I thought it was moonshine. That's the only. Forgive me. This is, <laughs> as you can see, my references are outdated. I love that. I, uh, no moonshine. No, moonshine's still around. Oh, it's still around. Okay, good. Okay, Kentucky. Good. Okay, good. I, you know what? I, yeah. Kentucky's I, good for moonshine and classy racism. Yeah, I, right. Now I know. Now I know. And the I, two, uh, when they mix the two, <laughs> it's fantastic. I never, I never got, um, I never, I never, I never knew which of our, our um, references were outdated or not. Because South Africa's weird. Like we have, we'll have TV shows that are new. And then, so we'll have like we'll be up to date with Oprah, like when she was still doing right, the show. Right, right. But then at the same time, like Knight Rider would premiere <laughs> for the first time in like 2000, and so people would be losing Man, their minds. Right. Like, oh, did you see the talking car? Did you see? <laughs> would be like the biggest thing all over the news. But then like other shows, we up to date, and then right. we just have one show that's like 10 years later. I don't know where Knight years. Rider. Yeah, and then it's just people losing their minds. Well, like, I don't want to tell you how Knight Rider ends, but it's great. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for you. Oh, man. I now, saw every episode. Are you getting into, like, you're living here, are you getting into um, American entertainment? Uh, now, now, movies, of course, American movies get all over oh, the world. Oh, they place. get all over the world. You, you were... they, get, they get all over the world. I yeah. knew they got all over the world when I was in Germany watching Bad Boys in German. That for me. Because in Germany... <laughs> they Will Smith and Marlon. Yeah, because yeah. in, most, in most countries, they just put subtitles. In Germany, they dub the movies. So you're watching Bad Boys, but that it's Mar like odd. Martin Lawrence. That is the most, because that's like a black, like those guys are being like super black right. in the movie. <laughs> but then it's in German, which is like the furthest thing from black. Yeah. <laughs> so you're watching Martin Lawrence and and uh, and uh, is it Will Smith. Will Smith, and, yeah. and, and in that scene, it's the, the most amazing thing. So they look at each other and like, ah, Will Smith. This is that the dance comment I finish. He's like, ah, yeah, dance comment with the general that is covered with the striker. He's like, ah, yeah, dance comment with the five dish. Ah, bad boys, bad boys. Ah, what you're gonna do? But you just like this is wrong on so many levels. No, that, just... that, uh, see that then it becomes a total comedy. It's it's yeah. insane. It's insane to watch. So it's just like like all the movies. They just in German they lose all the nuances of the thing. Right, that's what I mean. If you like, if you're trying to interpret jokes like that, it's just gonna ruin. No, them. no, it it, it doesn't. So for instance, like like a guy in a movie that's that's let's say a gangster black guy. Yeah. It, it's German. It just doesn't, you know. So it's just very like <laughs> just like Denzel. Guy. Denzel has no swag in German right. at, at yeah. all. That's he has hard no to take swag. away his swag. It's hard yes. to do. Like it, it, it's the equivalent. Like Denzel in German is basically walking around going, "You're you're my guy. You're my <laughs> guy." That's, instead of being like, "My man." My man. In, in German, he's basically going, you are my guy. I like you, and you are my guy. That's what he's doing in Germany. It, it takes away the entire thing. Yeah. I, I remember I had, I had a fight. Uh, my, my, my girlfriend's German, and I had a huge fight with her because um, she, she, was, she was saying Adam Sandler is one of the smartest uh, comedy movies she's watched. And I said, look, I love Adam Sandler, mm -hmm. but it's not smart comedy. <laughs> and she said, no, it's, it's smart, and it's witty, and it's... I said, no, 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 there's a lot of slapstick. She said, no, that's not true. <laughs> but in Germany... Now, this, this blew my mind. In Germany, Adam Sandler, the guy who does his voice, is like a very dry like, calm, witty comedian. Really? So Adam Sandler, so, like, when we watch so him... So it translates So when he does his thing, yeah. and we watch him yeah. in the movie, and he's doing that thing with the voice, yeah. and he's... <laughs> but then when you watch him in Germany, he's very... Well, that's 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 what I'm going to do. That's uh... God, I, now, now I have to see that. It's the craziest. So in Germany, they think Adam Sandler is just like it's highbrow, like it's alternative comedy in see, Germany. But that's, I, I love I love I love Sandler too, and what I love about him is it's it's goofy. Yeah, but it's the opposite in Germany. In Germany, they're like, no, this is very smart. This is this is what I watch well, to get know, away from the from the goofiness. This Germans is... Germans seem to have a history of not getting it. <laughs> 
that really helped. Uh, How did you meet your girlfriend? Oh, wow. That was World Cup, World Cup soccer, 2010. So oh, every, no every, kidding. Everybody she was in came, South Africa. Every, yeah, everybody came to the World Cup. Everyone came, and... Uh, and uh, everyone thought we were going to kill them, and we didn't. So I think they were grateful. <laughs> now, so, how did you? Uh, uh, so you met her, and do you live together and stuff? No, or? no, no, no. She still lives in Germany. I, uh, you know. Well, what a good, good for you. You're a player. You keep it. In there. <laughs> <laughs> You're in South Africa touring the world, and she's in Germany. Yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, that's how does that work out? What does she do for a living? Uh, she's a journalist. So oh, we just, okay. you know, so we just, you just do the thing. So you're just, a very intellectual couple. It works. It yeah, works. Yeah, it works well, I, I, I hope so. I hope so. I'm, I'm the comedian in the relationship. So you how know. does your family? Like, you know, growing up, you know, like your family did more so than you, uh, your parents and stuff, uh, and what they did, it had to be a really stressful time. When you tell them you're going to attempt to do to do comedy, were they scared for you? Were they, did they oh, discourage no, you? Oh, no, no, no. My mom loves it because my, yeah. mom, my mom was crazy. My mom used to get arrested for, for being with my dad. She would get fined. She would spend weekends in, in jail. Like Why? It was, because it was illegal, because my father's white and he's from Switzerland. Oh, so it was so, inter inter yeah. interracial marriage. Yeah, that, 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 that was I'm sure that, did, that didn't go over well. Oh, no, not at all. That was... <laughs> okay, I just put two and two together. Okay. And I, she was lucky because she was a woman, she would only go to jail. Like, as a man, they would just go, it's rape, and then you're going. You, you, you're, no, done, you're done for. It's as simple yeah. as that. They just go, it was rape. Um, so They would just call it rape. See, it's amazing how, like, we don't realize how good we have it over here. You know, there's a lot wrong with this country, but it still is the best option where... I just can't fathom someone calling that rape. Yeah, you know, but you you come from that. And yeah, pretty pretty much. And then I, and then you see you go. You think we have. And then I've toured in Africa where right. I get to some places. I was I was doing shows in Zambia, and then um, well, I can't even. <laughs> I was, I was doing I'm shows. Comedian twenty five years. I could not imagine playing that. I was doing shows in Zambia, <laughs> and they they had no. They've got they've got like no theaters. So they, 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 I was playing in one, it was like the government theater. This is where they make, the president makes speeches type thing. That's the only place we could find. Right. And so, and so I, uh, like just some guy randomly comes up to me, he's from government, and he comes up to me and he goes, he's like, Trevor, while you are here in Zambia, just one thing you must know. And I was like, what is it? He's like, don't be gay. <laughs> while like, you're here. Yeah, while you're here, don't be gay. And I was like, okay, but I didn't. But being gay is illegal. Uh -huh. it's like you guys are trying to pass gay marriage. We've we, we've already right, got it. But they're right. trying to pass gay. But there, it's illegal. So if you're gay, then you get arrested. Like you will go to jail for being gay. In Uganda, they'll even kill you. They've got wow. like a, they've got like a gay list that they publish in the newspaper every week. It's, well, called, listen, uh, it's called the shame list. Oh so no, they, kidding. Yeah. So they go, oh, this week, fresh off the press. Turns out Artie Lang is gay, <laughs> and then then you in the are they saying that over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, but that, that is funny. That, that, that like don't, this is, while you're here, don't be gay. Yes. You know, but so like if they caught so in other words, if they caught two guys like here uh, two blocks from here, you'll see two guys making out all the time. If they caught them doing that, just two guys making you're out. You're done for. You're done for. That's considered being gay. You're done for. You could get like the death penalty. Yes, you're done for. That that just doesn't fly. Wow. In men so so I mean it, it's a it's a different world. It's, it's uh, you know, uh, insanely different. I mean, but so I would think you know, your mom having gone through that, she seemed like a strong woman, probably, might be a little like, I'm happy for you, but just be careful. No, she was just like, do it. I, yeah. I guess because she was also in that. I mean, she, I mean, she was doing the thing, so she probably was like, ah, oh, comedy, that's nothing. Right. Well, yeah, you know, I guess that makes sense. My dad doesn't understand because he's he's Swiss German. And you you, that, you don't get more precise than that. Like he's just he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. No, he genuinely does Everything not understand. Everything has to work like a watch. Yes, he yeah. does not understand what I do at all. He just he goes. I don't understand. Like he he talks to me. He's like he's like so so what what do you do? You, the, the people come. They, they they pay they pay money to come to the show. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, but why? Why do they, why they don't just talk to you in the street for free? Right? And you're like, no. Actually, that's an excellent point. It doesn't, yeah. <laughs> he just he doesn't he doesn't understand the concept of what I do. He doesn't, you know. He's just he's, it's the most. Why don't they just talk to you in the street for free? That's true. You know, you got to say, well, Dad, listen, I, when I if, it, if I have a, if I talk to somebody for longer than thirty seconds, I got to charge them. Oh. <laughs> not right. Swiss Germany, everything's precise. There's Everything. Very like when my dad, my dad hates surprises. This is something I have to learn. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't, genuinely. I don't love him either. Like, you, you, you have to, you, a surprise, I tell my dad I'm going to surprise him. Right. So I go, I'm going to surprise you this Sunday. I'll pop in at 1 o'clock. <laughs> and then when I get there, he'll genuinely go, he'll be like, ah, what a surprise. <laughs> you came, what a surprise. <laughs> like, he's just, it's the weirdest world. And now, you see, the crazy thing is, I, I guess the only reason I find it strange is because I lost contact with my father for many years because of apartheid. Like, our family was separated. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, our family was separated. You were with your mom. We, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And so, and so we we couldn't see each other. For, so for like six years, I didn't see my dad. 
And now this is the six years of being a teenager and the six years. So then I meet him as a young adult. Okay. And now I'm just like, who is this creepy man? <laughs> Those are so six big years. Yeah, because, when, because when, it's your, when you're a kid, you, you, your parents are normal. As, as crazy as they are, they're right. normal. Yeah. But now I was just like, wow, okay, so this is my dad. I have to learn him. And this is, so now I'm learning him every day and it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Do you have a good across. relationship with yeah, him? Yeah, we have a great relationship. Do you have brothers and sisters? I've, I've, I've got two brothers, but from, from my mom's second marriage. So, right. you know, so. Are you close to them? Yeah, yeah, very close. Now, very what close. do they think about you? And do they do anything similarly in entertainment no, 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 at no. all? No, they, they hate what I do. Like they, my, do they really? Yeah, my, my little brother hates it because he was like, you, you, I, I, I went out with him one day to the mall and the people were asking for pictures and people, and he oh, was. Oh, so just, you're, you're a celebrity he there? Was just, yeah, I, I, okay, you know, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm well known, I guess. Right. So people just, he hates it. Just goes. He's like, yeah, don't don't come out with me. Do you, you think it's jealousy though? No, he just he doesn't like the thing. He's just like, can he's we annoyed just by can it. we go out and get? See, but I don't know. I don't know. But so he, might be, he might be a little jealous. Oh no, well, how, how old is he? Oh, he's like six years old. Oh, okay, that's so he's just, he's just <laughs> I like, thought maybe you were talking twenty one years. Oh no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no. If he's jealous at six, that's that's a bad kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can see where he'd be annoyed by. Yeah. That. So yeah. he just he just doesn't understand it. He's just like, why why do they want pictures with? What's wrong with it? Yeah. And then he's asked me. He's like he's like, do you know these people? I'm like, no, I don't know them. He's like, then why do they want to hug you? Well, no, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's so funny. I was I listening to this, Dick Cavett, I think, was explaining why, um, uh, you know, uh, kids uh, who are celebrities can become so screwed up when they're older because, you know, when you're a kid, life is already distorted, you yep. know? And it was the best explanation I ever heard. But then fame distorts it even more. Yeah. Fame to a kid who's six years old is odd. Like, why do these strangers know you? Because they're thinking, literally, it's weird. So if you add the distortion of fame and being a kid, and then you grow out of it, and then you realize maybe you're not famous anymore, you could lose your mind. Yeah, you, but you, don't, you don't know where to go from right, that. You don't right. know. You literally do not know where to go. From. Like, I was thinking the other day, where does Justin Bieber... God forbid Justin Bieber loses all his money where, where well, does, actually, what actually, is, what so you say, do? God forbid, I hope for that. But no, but I, I, I genuinely, no, no, you're right. I genuinely he'd be in don't, trouble. What, is, what does he do? He'd he be does, in trouble. He doesn't know how to. Like, can you imagine being Justin Bieber? And then what? W where do you go find a job? What, no, do you go not. work at Foot Locker? What do you? <laughs> you Justin Bieber. Now you've got people coming in going, Oh, do you have the new Jordan? You're Justin Bieber. But here's the <laughs> thing. It's just you know. You know, because of Twitter and learning from past people's mistakes, I think he's a guy who will probably accumulate so much money he'll never run out of money. But oh, more but important, look, but the card. Michael, how much? How much money did Michael Jackson burn? People burn through money. I know, but he God, it was such an extraordinary situation with Michael Jackson. I don't. I mean, if you become a propopol addict, I'm sure that's, <laughs> you know that's trouble. But I, you know, I don't think people like him, the Kardashians. Maybe they'll never lose money, but what what's going to be more aggravating to them is the fame. Because I think they're going to lose the fame. But that's and what that, that'll be when they really go nuts. Uh, they'll they'll be rich and and unfamous, and I think. That'll be just as annoying to them, you know. But that's what happens. You, you lose the fame, and then you you, t you take the drugs to compensate for that. Right. And then, because cocaine always knows your name, and then, <laughs> oh, yeah. and then you and then you go crazy, and then you lose the money because drugs. Th th people burn through. They just. Oh, they just. Through, you're preaching to the choir. Believe yeah. Me. I just, <laughs> I, I mean, I've been in show business for uh, you know making good money in show business for about 17 years, and this is the same outfit I wore at like a Rush concert in 1981. <laughs> Uh, but no, honestly, I, I, I'm doing all right, thank God, because I've always worked and I have some money. But with, without dope, I, I'd be way richer. Like, I, sometimes I, I add up in my head what I've spent on drugs. And, and it's very, and all kidding aside, very depressing. That, very is, that depressing. is so crazy to me, yeah. because drugs, like, for instance, you, you know, like, like being a crack addict, for instance. In South Africa, uh, crack, is, just, crack is very expensive right. in South Africa. Right. So like here, I couldn't believe that just everyone can do crack. I was very, I was shocked. Well, I we, was we like, do some things properly. Yeah. Whereas in South Africa, it was like, if you do crack, it's like, man, Artie, you're doing well for yourself. Well, I don't, the, the idea look at you, you can take crack <laughs> whenever you point, want. The <laughs> whole point of crack, though, was it made it less expensive. Well, I guess maybe. I mean, because I guess one maybe. hit only lasts a little bit. You got to be a billionaire to be a crackhead, then, right? No, but with us, that one hit was that you couldn't, you cut, you couldn't do crack. It was just not a. <laughs> It was just not a thing. It's not a financial option. Right? Yeah, it, it genuinely wasn't. <laughs> they were importing the crack? I no, they, they couldn't, like I guess. They, they, that, that, that's why it didn't come in. Luckily, that would be funny for, for, you, funny for your accountant to sit down and go, listen, you can't do crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, me and Irving have gone over the books, and the crack, you've got to lose. If you lose the crack, you can keep the boat. <laughs> uh, listen, thanks for stopping by, man. Thank this you for having great. me, guys. Thank um, you. And I know you're, while you're in town, we're here every night, basically. Uh, right, stop by, you want to talk. You 
you, you feel like getting some laughs on the on TV, you want to plug something, just come by. I man. would love to. I'd love to. And I'm going to check out your show. I can't wait to please, see Please, come through. Yeah. yeah, Jeff as well. Come through. Uh, man. Trevor let's, let's Noah, do you do the, the, the Twitter and everything? Or? I do. I'm at, at Trevor Noah. I, I like to keep it simple. At Trevor Noah. And again, yeah. where's the one-man show again? That's at the Culture Project, Lafayette and Bleak, uh, what, 15th of May, all the way through to the 8th of June. So um, Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so well, come, come through, please. Pleasure to meet you, and we'll see you again. Definitely. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Trevor Noah, uh, and uh, go check him out, and we'll be back with the rest of the Artie Live Show.